Hi, this is Eric with Ultramax Sports. I'm going to take you through the basics of the TriZoo Triathlon on Sunday, May 5th, 2013. Here we are on the event home page, and this info tab is going to give you most of the information you're going to need. Again, the race will be on Sunday, May 5th. Start time will be 7 a.m. for the elites and 7.30 a.m. for the age groupers and the duathlon. We're going to take place at the University of Missouri Rec Complex, right off of Providence, and Stadium. The distances are going to be a 400-meter swim, 14-mile bike, 3-mile run for the try, and then 171 for the do. Schedule of events. We'll start with a packet pickup at Ultramax Sports from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturday the 4th. We will also have a 4 p.m. beginner try clinic where we'll go over the basics once again and allow you to ask questions. On Sunday the 5th, you want to get there early to avoid lines, particularly if you did not get your packet the day before. So we'll open up transition at 5 a.m. where you can uh, bring your bike, um, get everything set up, and do everything you need to do to prepare for the race. You'll also need to make sure that you get body marked and pick up your timing chip from us that morning. You will not get that at packet pickup. The pool will be open from 6.15 to 6.50 for warm-ups. And at once again, 7 o'clock, the elite start. And then right after that, the age groupers start. We'll have pizza and the post-race start, post race party starting at 8.45. And that'll go quite a ways, as it will take a while for most people to even get in the water um, and to finish the race. 11 a.m. tentatively planned for the award ceremony. And we'll close the course at 1230. Make sure you know all the rules. You can't pick up another person's packet, so you need to get your own. Make sure to bring your own photo ID or else you can't get your packet. If you're a USAT member, bring your card. If you do not bring your card, uh, you'll be forced to purchase a one-day membership or uh, an annual membership extend your annual membership. Unfortunately, we can't make exceptions to this. This is an insurance requirement. Host hotels of Stony Creek Inn, give them a call and ask for the room rate. Make sure you're familiar with the parking before you show up. There are lots of parking garages and lots close to the site. Uh, so option one, if you can find some uh, street parking down by the race site, that's one good option. Uh, most of us end up parking at the Turner Avenue garage, which is just northwest of the race site. Again, here's a link that you can view that parking and print that out. <coughs> we'll award uh, age group winners um, as specified here, and we'll get a nice Ultramax medal for top three. Please note that this year the weight classifications have changed for the Clydesdale and Athenas. Last year it was 200 pounds and up for a Clydesdale, now it's 220, and Athenas was 150 pounds and up, and now it's 165 and up. Like most triathlons, we will have a relay category, so you can find two of your best friends and still participate. We will have Cycle Extreme on site race morning to help with any last minute problems or questions with your bike. Okay, so now let's hit the course maps and run through that real quick. The 400 meter swim is one of the best you're going to find indoors. The key feature of this swim is the 50 meter MU pool. And the way this is going to work is a snake swim or a serpentine swim. We will as you filter in race morning, find a comfortable seat on the bleachers and hang out and, and wait. When it's time to start the race, we'll have our fastest competitors get in a group and slowly walk up to the start line. As they're walking up, they will self-seed according to estimated finish time. For example, we may find that the first person estimates they're going to swim the race in 4 minutes and 10 seconds they would be first in line, maybe the next person is a 4.15 swimmer, and then a 4.17 swimmer, and so on. So we have this nice self-seated line. 
as you are sitting on the bleachers, you pay attention to what is going on with this line. We'll start with the four minute swimmers, and then we will call the five minute swimmers, and they will self seed six minute swimmers, and so on. With 800 or 900 athletes, it's going to take us a couple hours to get everybody in the water. So if you're one of the slower swimmers, make sure to bring something to snack on, a water bottle, maybe even some sweats, and so you can stay nice and comfortable while you're waiting. The way this swim uh, works, you will cross a timing mat here on the deck, hop in feet first, and then push off the wall and swim down the lane. Once you get to the end, you go under the lane rope and come back in the next lane, and then come back, and we fulfill this serpentine pattern. You can flip turn before you go under the rope, and then, and then go under the rope, or you can go under the rope and then flip turn off, off the back. Now, if you're not a flip turn person, just touch the edge and proceed. As you get to the end, we will have uh, a ladder here which you can climb out and you will run towards your bike. And that is the swim. Make sure as you're swimming that you seed yourself correctly in line. It's really important that you test yourself to make sure you know how fast you can swim 400 meters. Remember, this is a meter pool, not a yard pool. So if you swim in a yard pool, you're going to have to add some time. The reason this is important is to minimize passing. If everybody is seated in line according to how fast they will actually swim, there will be no passing because we typically have about 10 seconds between athletes getting in the water. And so again, we're going to have a steady stream of people doing this serpentine pattern. If you are quite off with your estimated swim time, you will be either passing a lot of people or getting passed by a lot of people. In both scenarios, your race is slowed down and their races are slowed down. So being accurate is pretty important. Let's proceed to the bike course. Okay, on the top north end of this we can see Stankowski Field. And so the swim uh, building is about right here. You're going to run. It's about a quarter mile run, so it's a little bit of a run, but most of it's on AstroTurf, a little bit of sidewalk, to the field. We will have our bikes racked on the track, on the outer edge of the track, and you will put on your bike clothing, shoes, and you will proceed to the bike course. The first little bit of the bike course is a little bit technical, so we need to be careful. You're going to head down. You're actually going to go through a tunnel. Under this tunnel, it's, it's a quick turn out of it, so you got to watch your speed. Um, it's important to be extra careful here. You get to the end of this tunnel, you will uh, do a little jig and come out onto stadium. This first eastern edge of the course is a, is a nice long downhill. It's particularly steep at the end, and so it's important to watch your speed as you hit this turn into Old Highway 63. Old Highway 63 is going to start flat and then you're going to have a bit of a hill here and you will then proceed up to Grindstone. Grindstone to Gray Oak, to Green Meadows, an outer road, and then to Providence. Providence, this is the biggest hill on the course. It's not terrible, but it's a slow grinder. Plan to hit your lower gears and grind it out. This is a two loop course for the triathletes so you will do this twice. As you get back to transition make sure you get off your bike at the dismount line. We'll have volunteers there reminding you to get off your bike at the dismount line. They will also be there helping you to know when to get on your bike when you are first starting the bike ride and you'll proceed to rack your bike in the original spot it was located. The run course. The run course is three miles and it's a loop. Um, loop through campus for the most part a very flat course a couple of small rollers but for the most part uh, pretty easy. 
We'll have a couple of aid stations on the course. Uh, miles 1 and mile 2 with heed, which is a sports drink, water, ice, and gels. Please note that it is not legal per USA Triathlon rules to have a pacer on the run course or any place in the, tr in the triathlon, um, but you cannot have a friend pacing you. We'll have plenty of arrows and signs to help direct you, but remember it is your responsibility to know the course.